see what the set's gonna be like they're definitely a modern hair care company in the sense that they're all about quality products but in an accessible price range so I think that's amazing on the call sheet they said to bring a reusable water bottle which we love a woke king so I brought my Joko cup if you're not familiar with Joko they're great because they're plastic free this is glass filled with silicone and then wood and uh, rubber so yeah I love these bottles, but this is my go-to as of right now. I go between this and a hydro flask frequently, so it kind of just depends on how much I'm trying to drink. There's a really cool lunch situation today where they gave us this website that we get to go and choose whatever we want for lunch based off of like a million restaurants, and then you can like put it all in your cart and then it's ordered for you. So I ordered a few fun things for lunch. And yeah, I'm excited to see how it goes. So I'll show you hair and makeup, food, all that stuff. Um, I brought my book, so between shots I'll be reading. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Let's go. See you there. one shot now look at this kit oh my this gosh. is a dream kit uh, we got a little bit of Huda Beauty Ooh, pretty we got a little bit of color pop oh yes we love that yeah. that palette's so beautiful right wow. brand new I love this one so nice what's your Go favorite to. what if you had to choose three products in your kit that you're obsessed with what would oh, it be absolutely one thousand percent my attempt to it's so I love it that one's really good this is my go-to blush palette this has like all these beautiful like peachy oh, wow. warm tones. There's some cool tones in there. Sometimes I love using this as an eyeshadow. That's beautiful. But it's very like travel friendly. Oh yeah. So I love that one. What you have to have in your kit is the Bioderma uh, Micellar Water. This Forever. is perfect for just like, Micellar's yeah, everything. yeah, just like clean up and like sharpen any eyeliner. Yeah. The Q-tip, this is like a, a good multitasker. I'll have little... your Instagram down below. Okay. Everybody go Perfect. follow Queenie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go eat another bagel because I'm hungry. Oh, I'm all about that life. oh, I'm here for it. This is 
my favorite thing ever. Have you had these before? Yes. <laughs> What's up? The fries is gonna be at the event. She got us your mommy too. We love. Which you came, Ryan? I got a green falafel bowl. Mm, that got good reviews on there. I yeah, saw that I one. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, I don't get how they got everything at the same time. That's what I don't understand. Yeah. Oh, these are fire too. CBD. Oh, yes. I did a shoot. Really? Wait, I did a shoot for recess in like June. Yeah. I got a free cookie too. Oh nice. <laughs> I used to I used to do that like every single day, like twice a day to like make content for them. I'd have to be like I'd do all the sound. And they had rise on tap, which was crazy. It's currently two weeks after our crown affair shoot, which was amazing. And today was the launch day of all the content. So I was really excited and everything came out incredible. When I say we had the best team ever, I really, really mean it. Such a positive experience. It was amazing seeing all the videos and photos on Instagram and the website looks incredible. And I just feel really lucky to be a part of such a cool brand launch because I love Diana's message with this and I love that it's so self-care oriented. And as you can see, I'm wearing a hair towel, but not just any hair towel, the crown of hair towel. Other hair towels that I've used aren't long enough for my hair, so that's a problem. And also the material is like fuzzy as if it was a blanket, which is also an issue because it doesn't really hold in moisture as well as I'm sure they like or hoped it would. Maybe it's just with my hair, I don't know doesn't work for me. Well, I'm gonna show you how this one works, first of all. So this is the towel itself. Can you see it? Okay, it's just a big towel, okay? On the bottom, it has the crown affair tag and then it has this little loop. So this is where you hook it into your hair. So I will show you and demonstrate. Take your towel like this with the tag and the band here, flip your hair forward and then you're gonna want the band to just touch the back of your head. You're gonna wrap your hair just like you would if you were wrapping it with a regular towel. The only difference with this hair towel is then when you take the band here, you can tuck your hair in. This is not leading your head, okay? It's stuck. By the way, if you're curious, this is my little side table. I'm gonna show you really quick what my side table self-care and night routine things are. First off the bat, three essential oils. I have On Guard, I have a signature Zen and a signature Chai. That was loud as hell and not peaceful. I have a lip balm that I'm using up because you know how it'd be in the winter. I have a sage room spray, which is just kind of nice to freshen my pillows up, get the vibe right, if you feel me. And this is handmade by someone in my area who does holistic healing. I have a rose elixir from another holistic healer that I love, and this is rose extract and glycerin. They instruct one dropper full on your tongue or in liquid as needed, and I prefer it just direct like boom. I might even do a little right now because I love rose and I'm obsessed. So I just take it like this. Mm. When I tell you this is so addicting. And last, I always have my little nail oil. This one I got in like an old, old, old subscription box, but I'm using it up. It's cuticle oil and it's lavender. So yeah, and that's how I keep my nails pretty fresh looking even when my nails are growing out. I really, really like to use nail oil and it just keeps it as healthy as it possibly can be. It's the Grown Alchemist hand cream. I love their hand creams, they're very natural. And this is in vanilla orange peel flavor. I got this scent as well in a box. So that's a bit of my night routine. And for those wondering too, I'm a night shower type of person. There's very few cases where I'll come home from a full day and I won't shower before I go to bed. Especially if I went to the city, seeing friends, you're running around, doing stuff. Like the last thing you wanna do is get in bed dirty. Just 
hurts my literal soul when I think about it. So Crown Affairs website launched today. Highly recommend checking it out if you haven't yet. And tomorrow morning, we're going to their launch party. So it's gonna be a few of us that were involved in the campaign and they're doing a really lovely morning event, which is very rare in this industry. Like everything's a night event, everything's drinking this and that, but since they are a routine and self-care routine brand, I thought this was such a cool idea. They're gonna be throwing a meditative yoga-y type of event. That's the vibe we got from the invite. Seems like we're doing some sort of meditation, um, which I am down for, obviously. It's a no-shoe zone. Mm -hmm. And even better, my friends Bianca and Natalia came up to join me at the event. So I'm so excited. They're staying at my house right now, so I'll introduce you to them tomorrow. They are a bundle of joy. I'm so glad I can take you guys with us. And let the games begin. Welcome to the jungle. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle. Oh, I feel so deep when I say it. <laughs> My girlies are here. We're going to meditate. Meditation. Meditate. And jeans. Let's see how that goes. It's so early in the morning. It is 8 40. We need to eat. Okay, we gotta go grab some food. We got here early enough. So, so late. It was early, either we come. It's so late. Yeah, well, it's like we got enough time to grab a snack. And a little coffee. I woke up at 6.09 and then I said just a little bit more. <laughs> oh, I literally <laughs> slept till 7.10 and I was like. And then I woke up at 7.10 and then the Phoebe was like, we have to be ready by 7.10. Yeah, I saw your text and I got it. You said, hmm. Do a TikTok dance for me, ladies. Yeah, I'm supposed to do the one where you go. <laughs> do it. No, it's right there. Oh, yeah. What does that even mean? You've never seen it? No. Like everything off beat. Like, all right, you're doing this. Right. He says, turn it up. But you oh. said, turn it up. Like, it was a song. Like, you know, it sounds like Slad's lips. You're happy birthday. <laughs> it was off tune. Hot dog. Hot dog. Wait, I know that one. I know. Hot dog. Oh, look at her. I haven't seen one rat yet. So. Really? Wait, well, yeah, we let's find the cutie. Starbucks straw. There's a Natalia. pencil. The, the subway rats are Natalia's babies. Me and Ruben were in Union Square, and you like there's like that little area near the subway where there's like it's like a little park, and we're sitting there, and <laughs> and it's it's like late, you know, we're like catching up. It was like when we first met, and it was so funny because as we're talking, like ca like we're so casual, and there's like dozens of rats like this big up to like that size just walking around really? in between the bushes and you can hear them like with the little noises and like eating trash <sighs> and we were like it was like killing the vibe so we were like let's it was walk around the vibe. it was killing the vibe it was killing the vibe Chipotle is getting a lawsuit for like three million dollars because it was discovered that in Massachusetts that a lot of children were working. Like a lot of underage kids. Chipotle's introduced She's such an advantage and like other greens mixed into their She's salad. such a Chipotle apologist. Oh, um, you're a Chipotle, I'm a Chipotle apologist. apologist. The E. coli shit is a hoax. Yo, <laughs> they'll be like, hey, we're recalling so and so. It's just still going. I'm gonna be like, like she just she said, maybe, oh damn, maybe that maybe lettuce. Me, the <laughs> the lettuce hits different today. Because I hate chipotle. <laughs> oh, thank you. That was perfect timing. I was in the panoramic view. Thank you very much. Oh, that looks great. This looks so good. That's a good call. What did you guys want to get? Oh. This matches with your drink. I said, Wait, did you just get avocado toast? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I was thinking about doing that, but I didn't know what doing. Do you want some? It did not this is so good. It looks amazing. Because let me tell you something, I hate kale. I think kale is disgusting. I think spinach is queen. Queen. But the kale, 
and how it contrasts with like the curry and, and the chickpeas. This chicken is so good, and then the roasted Brussels sprouts with, with the toasted cauliflower. I'm just in love. Tell you, isn't actually eat. Oh, no. I'm Do just, you want some? No, it's okay. Are you sure? No, yeah. eat some. You like in the you like no, eat, yeah. some eat some. Eat some. I'm try this, please. Not the, not the roasted. I can try the chickpea. There. And then the chicken for the day. She's so picky, it's good. You had chickpeas last night. If you said curry and she automatically thinks like full on Indian food. Like, yeah. Okay, it's weird that I'm talking about her and she's right there, but she led an incredible meditation. How did you feel after? I felt so sad. I feel complete. Like, I feel full. I feel like, I'm ready to start the day. Yeah, I loved the bowl and I loved the, my body. I felt the color. What color did you choose when you were the vibration in your body? I did sage. Ooh, I love that. Me and my hand, look at all the beautiful human beings. Like, yes, 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 yes. yes. Incredible. All right, guys. Some last. Thank you guys for watching so much. We'll see you later. Have fun, everyone. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Wednesday. What? Tea. <laughs>